Hey guys, today I just want to talk about um, VSC versus uh, ESC. So this is a cheap fifty dollar uh, ESC that you can get on Banggood. Um, this is a dual uh, ESC, basically motor controller. It comes usually comes with the XT60 connector, um, power button, and six wires, three per motor, and Bluetooth controller. And also a controller, depending on um, you know mo which kit you get, you get a different remote. This one's actually pretty cool. Um, now, if when I first started building skateboards, electric skateboards, I bought a bunch of this. I actually have like probably like <laughs> I just probably have like a dozen of these, thinking that this will work. So this will actually be work. What's this good for? Uh, is like uh, hub motors <laughs> because hub motors. Um, if you want to build it super cheap, this is a good way. If you don't, if you're not using more than you know 500 watts of power, it's pretty good. Um, for dual hub motors, they're actually pretty good. Uh, pretty good power if you put a decent battery. Um, for belts, I don't actually recommend it as much because um, you don't the acceleration is not smooth, braking is not as smooth. Now, if you want to spend the money. If you want to build something that's super smooth uh, with belt driven, all right, even uh, hubs, you can also use this. You can get something like a Flipski a 4.20 Dual or the uh, Dual Plus. I actually recommend because it comes with a power button. Uh, it's a little bit more, but it's, um, it's better built. This is a 6.6 .6 Plus Flipski. This is the top of the line. This will give you 100 amps per motor. Uh, it comes with uh, anti-static. They also have the regular, uh, which is a little bit cheaper. I got it actually on one of my uh, boards. That one's also good. Any um, dual 6.6 .6 is really good. Um, now, what's this is good is that you can use FOC. This is BLDC. Uh, FOC is basically sine waves. Um, you know how the motors work. Is basically you're sending a bunch of um, pulses, which are square. Uh, that's what the cheap motors do. And this is uh, programmable with open source. So you basically upload the firmware. And you can also get a Bluetooth module to do it all on your phone. So I do everything on my phone. I don't, you know, um, but if you, the Bluetooth module is only 10 bucks. So I totally get that. But you could also connect it to your computer via micro USB and program it too. The greatest thing about this is that it runs open source firmware and you can basically uh, run it on BLDC, FOC, uh, make it smooth. You can change the acceleration curve. For, for example, if you like accelerate, accelerating super hard, you can set it that way. Um, if you want to accelerate slow, uh, you could also set it that way. Now, um, I have a full tutorial on how to really maximize this, but with this, um, you can really maximize uh, your motors, your battery, and everything. So a lot of boards like Ohmboard or Vestar, they'll come with Hobbywing, which is a whole another different story. Um, this all the ESC. I think I have a Hobbywing somewhere. Um, actually, I don't have one to show you. Hobbywing is actually really, really good. Uh, but the problem with Hobbywing is that you can't change the parameters. For example, you buy a own board, you buy a Meepo, uh, they all have um, a hobby wing, but you can't change the parameters. So if, for example, you change the motors, you're stuck with whatever parameters uh, that's custom program. Now you can program hobby wing. The only thing is user can't program it. Only the manufacturers can program it. So you're pretty much stuck with the motor, the battery setup, uh, etc, etc. You, you can change the batteries in the motors, but you're not going to be able to optimize it. Um, and with this, you can change the voltage. I can use a 6S battery. I can use a 12S battery. Um, and, you know, I can also log everything. If you use a Bluetooth module with the app, you can basically, get, you know, log uh, how fast were you going um, at any given point and it will actually map it out for you it's it's a total like a custom a culture right so that's why 
if you, you could start with this just to learn how to build a skateboard but once you build a skateboard you're gonna get bored um, you're gonna be stuck with the settings like this is completely programmed um, it's actually very safe that it it has a very safe parameters but at the same time you're not gonna be able to do um, custom stuff with this you can literally uh, build a skateboard this is the top of the line you can uh, I'm gonna actually build one um, you can if you use like a 637 4684 motor you can make a like a 8,000 watt skateboard so that's what I'm making next uh, with this particular one um, also this is about 240 bucks if you wanna if you don't need this much power you can go with uh, the 4.20 dual plus um, this is actually one of my broken ones. Um, so this is what I, this one also does 50 amps per motor. So if your motor doesn't do more than 50 amps or it's around there, you don't need this. This is for like super fast skateboards, off-road skateboards. This, you could still build a really powerful skateboards. That's what my uh, Mad Max Mini is um, with top speed of uh, 35 miles per hour. It's the same thing. But you just get 50 amps um, per motor that's continuous and you can also do burst up to i think 100 amps um, so with this you could pretty much do a lot of things um, so this one about 170 dollars i think something like that from flipski um, but flipski i would totally recommend because it comes dual you don't have to worry about connecting two different controllers um, so i really like it um, also it does have really good uh it already comes with a heat sink um so um it already you know can cool it down without you doing anything so um i'll go into it more details but today i just want to give you sort of a one-on-one -on -one, uh, what kind of esc you need i would totally start with this and build a simple skateboard because it's it's really easy this one you have to actually solder uh, everything you have to you know so so this is uh, completely new one, but this one I solder the XT90. I had to solder on the motor, um, the bullet connectors, right? And there's um, literally a thousand different things you can do to customize. Um, you also want to get a really good solder. Um, I do highly recommend the Flipski. Uh, they have this really nice uh, solder that's temperature, right? And it doesn't take up a lot of space so this will go to you can set a custom temperature and i really love it uh flip ski has a lot of good uh, skateboard parts for uh, diy electronics um next time we'll take up talk talk about motors but if you have any questions let me know i'd be help, happy to answer them have a great day